focus. What's good guys, JS Thugs here, back with another video, and as you can tell from the title, we'll be, well, I'm going to be showing you guys just a quick little um, chest work, not even quick, or little, it's actually very effective and very efficient, but um, it's a chest worker that you could do at home, you don't need no weights, you don't need no equipment, just your body, and the drive to do it, in all honesty. So, um, the first one that I do here is just to warm up, um, you're just going to do 15 to 20 reps of push-ups, just regular push-ups, regular stance push-ups. The second movement I do here is just another type of warm up, um, but it's a little bit more. Your body should be warm after doing um, those first push ups. But I forgot to mention, all the sets are three sets of everything. Three sets of everything. So the first one was uh, three sets of 15 to 20 reps, and that was just regular push ups. Now we're going to do wide grip push ups, and like I said, it's still from 15 to 20 reps. And make sure you're getting the full range of motion, go all the way down, going all the way up. Don't cheat yourself, get the full entire rep. You might as well. What's the point of half wrapping if you're just gonna get half the results? I don't know if that equates equally, but do your full reps. Next is one of my favorite type of push-ups. If you've seen my other push-up video, which is on my channel, um, it's just, I believe it's called five different push-ups that you can do at home to grow your chest. But um, the next one we're gonna be doing is some I call circle push-ups, which is basically when you go down to one side, then go over and push up on that side. So let's say you're going down to your right arm, you go down towards your right side. I, I like to kind of let my chest touch my thumb. You'll see in the video, but um, I let my chest touch my right chest, touch my right arm, thumb, and then I go over to the other side and vice versa, so my left thumb would touch my left chest and I'll push up and keep going in that direction five times and then you'll switch directions and go down on your left side and come up on your right side. Now the next one is, um, it might look like a reg regular push-up, but it's, I like to call it an assisted one-hand push-up because I mostly use that for me to um, help build up my one-hand push-ups. Yes, I can do a one-hand push-up. Um, but basically what you do, you're going, just like we were going down on the circle push-ups, but basically you're going down on your right side, let's say. You go down your right side and you don't let your left arm hurt, I mean, help that much. It's really just there to hold you and push up on the right side. So you're staying on the right side and when you push up, you're coming back to the center as if you're doing a regular push up. But um, when you go down, you're going towards your right side and pushing up with your right arm. So it's going to be five of those on the right side. Then you're going to do five on the left side. Next one, um, I call them side to side push ups. I'm not exactly sure what they're called, but to me, they're equivalent. They're equivalent to um, flies, like chest flies, um, which is basically just how we're doing the circle push ups again, where you go low and you go, like I said, I go from thumb, right thumb to touch my right chest, then left thumb to touch my left chest. So I just keep going from side to side to side, which is 20 times. Um, so it's really 40 times altogether, but it's 20 times each side.
the next type of push-up. Um, I just started doing it. I haven't made up a name for it. I haven't seen anybody else do it in all honesty. I think I was just playing around in the gym one time or got bored of regular push-ups. Um, but basically, I call it reverse push-ups because your hands are in a reverse. Um, instead of your hands being like this, they're this way instead. And when you come up, I feel it a lot more in my chest. Um, in my triceps too a little bit, but I feel it a lot more in my chest, especially when you squeeze at the top. So I did 15 of those. And like I said, everything is three sets. Now, of course, all of these um, different variations of push-ups can be changed to the incline if you were to do them on top of a bench or um, if you were to put your arms on top of a bench to elevate yourself or you can put your feet up on top of a bench to elevate that part, which will make it incline or decline um, to target the upper and the lower chest. Whichever one you want to do, I just made the example of doing it flat um, on the floor. So um, if you want to change it up, you can. All of them will work the same way. Um, yeah, that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys actually try it out. And if you do, make sure you leave a comment or you can DM me on Instagram at J underscore aesthetics. It'll be in the description. Yeah, so go follow me on there. Make sure you show me the results or um, if you do the workout, let me know how it made you feel. If you're seeing any results. And me personally, I would suggest, if you're trying to, um, let's say you're not going to the gym and you work out at home or you're just starting out working out, you kind of just want something to start off with. I also just doing this at least three times a week, um, three sets of everything, so at least three times a week, I would say. Um, so yeah, if you're going to the gym whenever, you could throw it in whenever you want to do it. On a cool tip, it's, it's really up to you, but my I would personally suggest at least three times a week if you're really trying to grow your chest. Um, so yeah, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications because you already know if you don't have one of post notification and you're subscribed, it's pointless at this point. In all honesty. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. Hope y'all enjoy your day or your night or your evening, whatever it is. I don't know. That's it, friend.